Hello everyone, let me start by asking you a question. How do you unify quantum mechanics and general relativity? Sounds a very difficult question, right? Okay, let me ask a paradoxical question. What is the meaning of meaning? I am sure some of you have already opened ChatGPT to find the answer. Tools like ChatGPT have uh, become a part and parcel of our life. We use these tools to, you know, to draft emails, to write documents, to solve assignments and what not. Some of you know that these tools are called large language models, LLMs, right? But some of you may not know how these tools work, okay? If you know how these tools work, you would basically make best use of these tools instead of just writing random prompts for you. We introduce a new course called Large Language Models. My name is Tanmay Chakraborty. I am a faculty member at IIT Delhi. I work in natural language processing and these days large language models. Hello, I am Shoman Chakraborty, a professor at IIT Bombay. I work on web and text search, natural language processing, question answering, knowledge graphs, and machine learning for graphs. We knowingly or unknowingly use language models in our daily life. For example, let's say when we write a query on, uh, on, on Google search, right? when we translate one language to another language, when we use uh, assisted technology like uh, Alexa, we use language models uh, in all these uh, cases. Right? In, in 2017, a breakthrough happened and uh, a model called transformer was introduced. And then we heard a new term called large language models. So what is large in large language models? When we say large language models, there are basically two aspects that we point out. One is the size of the model in terms of number of parameters and other is the size of the training data set uh, on which these models are essentially trained. Earlier models like models in 2017, 2018, the size was roughly uh, 65 million to you know, 100 million. And now we are talking in terms of trillion, right? GPT-3, for example, is a one trillion model. The second aspect is the size of the training data set. So earlier models like BERT used a data set of size 1.7 billion tokens. Now the models that we have been uh, witnessing these days use more than 300 billion tokens uh, for training. So why this course is important? We know that the, the paradigm of natural language processing has, has completely changed due to this introduction of large language models, they are essentially used everywhere. They are used for designing conversational AI, for generating content, code writing, code correction, right, and so on and so forth. This course is also useful for industry professionals and newcomers who are looking for jobs, because these days, as you realized, that most of the industries are looking for experts who know generative AI large language models. So this course is graduate level course. Uh, mostly for final year undergraduate, postgraduate, and PhD students in uh, CAC, electrical, ECE, IT, math students, and of course, students from other branches who are interested in uh, AI, multimodality, and NLP in general, they can also opt for this course. And of course, researchers who, are, who have general interest in deep learning and uh, machine learning should also consider this course. We always say that if you are willing to learn something new, and if you are excited about language, you should opt for this course. But officially, you know, data structure algorithms, machine learning, and Python programming, these are the mandatory uh, prerequisites, whereas NLP and deep learning are desirable. The entire course is divided into five modules. The first module covers the basics of this course, which uh, includes uh, introduction to NLP, introduction to deep learning, introduction to language model, and then uh, different types of word embedding methods like word to fake and glove, and then we'll move to neural language model, uh, including CNN, RNN, sequence to sequence model, and then we introduce attention. In the second module, we will discuss the architecture of uh, different LLMs. Specifically, we start with the transformer model. We will discuss different components of the transformer model, including the positional encoding method, uh, different tokenization strategies, decoder only, encoder only, and encoder decoder only models, and then, in the third module, we will discuss different learnability aspects of large language models, where we will discuss instruction fine tuning strategies, in context learning, different types of advanced prompting techniques like chain of thoughts, graph of thoughts, prompt chaining, and so on and so forth. And then we move to the most interesting part called alignment, right? Where we will discuss 
RLHF and if possible also DPO. And then if time permits parameter efficient fine tuning techniques. In the fourth module, we will study the interaction between knowledge graphs and LLMs. Natural language is largely informal and imprecise. Because language models are probabilistic generators of text, their outputs are not guaranteed to be consistent with facts. Graphs provide a critical common representation for recording and reasoning with factual world knowledge. Knowledge graphs in particular record subject, relation, object triples with rich textual features. Instead of depending on an opaque encoding of corpus derived knowledge inside LLM parameters, open book question answering integrates transparent mutable facts in knowledge graphs with LLM's matching and reasoning power. Another perspective is that access to a knowledge graph is a tool used by an LLM to generate responses. The race is now on to create the most versatile and reliable LLMs. However, severe challenges remain. As we have mentioned just now, LLMs can lose touch with reality and hallucinate. They are also only as good as their training corpus and method of supervision. Bias and toxicity routinely show through, and these have severe social consequences. In this final fifth module, we will present and explain some of these weaknesses. Then we will discuss some possible guardrails and mitigation strategies. So the textbook that uh, we will follow, this is a textbook on large language models uh, written by me. The book will be available online from December 15. Limited copies will be available in December. So if you are interested in buying the book, I strongly suggest you to enroll yourself. The course will start in January 2025. The enrollment process is ongoing. So if you are interested in learning LLMs, specifically ChatGPT like tools, this is the course for you. See you. Thank you. Thank <music> you.